Hello again and welcome to the series on systems of equations applications. In this session we're going to talk about coin problems. Problems where you have some amount of nickels, dimes, quarters, pennies, something, and we've got some sort of total sum that they're arriving at. So one of the tricks here is that they're not giving you all the numbers explicitly in the problem. What we have to remember is that we know how much dimes and nickels are worth. We'll get there in a second. Okay, so the problem says a collection of dimes and nickels is worth $3.30. If there are 42 coins in all, how many of each kind of coin are there? Again, look at the question word as we've been the question as we've been saying, that's going to kind of tell us what our variable should be. So how many of each? Each what? Well, we're talking about dimes and nickels. So let's define our variables. I might actually go with letters to rem help remind myself of what they are. So I'm gonna go with D equals the number of dimes. You can certainly stick with X and Y if you prefer that. And I'm gonna go N equals the number of nickels. Great. Well, let's take different pieces of this at a time. The easiest part actually is that there's 42 coins in all. Well, if D is the number of dimes and N is the number of nickels, then we must have that D plus N is 42. And that's our first equation. Now, the other equation that we need to come up with comes from the fact that the dimes and the nickels are worth $3.30. Well, how many dimes do we have? We have D dimes and N nickels. So if they're gonna add up to $3.30, we have to remember the value of each of them. So a dime is worth 10 cents. It is important that we make sure we remember that it's 0.1 um, or 0 0.10 uh, times dimes is gonna give us the value. So every dime times 0.1 because our money here is in dollars. So we really need to keep the coefficients um, representing dimes in terms of dollars as well. And then for nickels, it's 0 0.05. I know it's five cents, so that's 0 0.05 dollars times nickels. When we add those together, that will be $3.30. Now, as I said, this equation is written with all three numbers in terms of dollars. But for solving it, it might actually be easier if we had this in terms of pennies. So what I'd like to do is get rid of all these decimals by multiplying both sides by 100. So that'll make our equation instead 10D plus 5N equals 330. That equation will probably be a little bit easier for us to work with moving forward. So I'm gonna take this equation, and what I'm gonna actually do is I'm gonna solve this uh, with our first equation up here uh, by using uh, elimination. So to do that, I'm gonna take this first equation, I'm gonna multiply, let's go ahead and eliminate N. So I'm gonna multiply uh, this equation by negative five on both sides. That'll give me negative five D minus five N equals negative 210. Great, so I'll go ahead and add my equations. 10 D negative five D is five D. The N's canceled as we intended and on the other side 330 minus 210 is 120. We can divide both sides by five to find that the value of D is 24. So there are 24 dimes. Okay, let's take this and go ahead and find out how many nickels there are. Well, we know that dimes, dimes plus nickels is equal to 42. So 24 plus N is equal to 42. So we'll go ahead and subtract 24 from both sides and we'll get that N is 18. So make sure we finish by answering the question. Don't just leave your answer hanging in the equations here. There are 18 nickels and 24 dimes in the collection. Great. Let's look at one more example here together. In this example, it says Mary has a collection of nickels and quarters for a total value of $4.90. If she has 42 co coins total, how many of each kind are there? Very similar problem, except that now we have nickels and quarters. All right, so let's go ahead and say N is the number of nickels. 
and Q is the number of quarters. Well, they tell us we have 42 coins, popular number, so N plus Q is 42. Great, in our second equation, we have to remember the values of nickels and quarters, so we know that nickels are worth 0 0.05, so 0 0.05N, plus quarters are worth 0.25 dollars, and we add those together to get $4.90. Again, it's my preference to take this equation when we have decimal numbers like this, clear out those decimals, we're gonna multiply by 100 on both sides, so we get 5N plus 25Q equals, equals 490. You could also just thought of this as you know, an equation of pennies as, a as opposed to an equation of dollars. So I'm gonna again solve this similarly to our last example. I'm gonna take this equation, multiply by negative five to give us negative five n minus five q is equal to negative 210. Now I'm set up to do elimination. I can eliminate my n's here. When I add my uh, quarters, I get 20 quarters equals uh, 280. Go ahead and uh, divide both sides by 20, and we get that Q is equal to 14. So we have 14 quarters. Let's go ahead and find the number of nickels. So we know that nickels plus quarters is 42. So nickels plus 14 is 42. And if we subtract 14 from both sides, we get that nickels are 28. Again, let's answer the question. There are 28 nickels and 14 quarters in Mary's collection. Excellent. Thanks again for joining us for this session of Systems of Equation Applications. Check in to see some of the other applications as well.